Thanks for tuning in to the Northwest Vision. I'm Karen Rue, Superintendent of Schools. In Northwest ISD, our teachers and staff members are committed to helping students maximize their learning opportunities. Students graduating from our high schools can walk away with industry certifications, real-world work experience, college credit, and more. The opportunities are endless. I have three guests with me today to discuss the challenging courses and innovative academies offered in Northwest High School. With me is Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction, Edward Chevalier. We have Tyler Wine, who is a student at Northwest High School in the STEM Academy. And then Alexis Raw, who is a student at Byron Nelson High School in the Academy of Medical Professions. I sure want to thank you for joining me today. And I appreciate the opportunity to talk with you. So, if you don't mind, I'd like to start by uh, asking Mr. Chevalier a little bit about the, the vision of Northwest as, as we look for opportunities for students to be future ready. Tell us some of the ways our course selections are, are being structured so that we can prepare our students for their future. Well, Dr. Ruth, thank you for this opportunity. First of all, our vision is to ensure that all of our students are future ready. And in order to do that, we want to give them multiple opportunities to take courses, to participating, uh, participate in school structures that best prepare them to do that. Um, we've got a number of opportunities. One, uh, first, uh, starting with, with one of our smaller ones, but one of our growing ones, Steel mm -hmm. High School, where uh, we give students the opportunity to accelerate through courses. Uh, we've got many students that have a college vision or, or an after graduation mm -hmm. vision that they want to get right to and, and so we give them that opportunity through Steel. We also have academies at both of our comprehensive high school. We have two at Northwest High School, one focused on the media arts, the other focused on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And then at Byron Nelson High School, we have our Medical Professions Academy and this year we just mm -hmm. opened our Culinary Arts Academy. Sounds exciting. <laughs> and, and Tyler, you are here at Northwest High School in the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math Academy. Yes, ma That's correct. Well, tell us, why did you choose that academy, and what are you hoping to uh, get out of it? <laughs> well, I chose the STEM Academy because I want to major in aeronautical engineering. Mm -hmm. And as a kid, I was like, I always like to put things together. Like, I can put just about anything together. And in the, set in the STEM Academy, I could learn how to do that and learn the correct way and learn how to do everything in different ways. That really does sound interesting. I, I think it would be fascinating to be a part of that. Now, Mr. Chevalier, tell us a little bit about AP courses at high schools because that's a part of what we're offering as opportunities for kids a and I think it's probably embedded in our academies. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, because our vision is to have students college ready, or future ready, with one of those strands being college ready, we want to give students the opportunity to leave high school with college credit if they've if they've got uh, if they can take the classes to do it. Our AP courses actually begin at the middle school level, with pre-AP in many cl cases. Our students begin in pre-AP courses to get used to the uh, academic rigor that's associated with it, and they move to the high school level and can take uh, AP courses in all of our four, co four core areas, but they can also take AP courses in such things as foreign language. They can take AP courses in um, sci uh, psychology. They can take AP courses in music theory, in art, mm -hmm. things like that. So um, students, ha there's, there's a place for students to channel their uh, energy and enthusiasm and interest in a number of areas. Our goal is for students to complete those AP courses and move in to be prepared to take that AP exam because that's what gets them the college credit. We've had students leave us, uh, graduate from us with a number of credits, uh, either enough to move into the sophomore level or real close to it. So we want to do everything we can to help them do that. Great. Now Alexis, you might be involved in some of those AP classes yourself within your academy. Tell us about the, the academy you chose and why you chose that one. I chose the Academy of Medical Professions because I've always loved helping people. Like I search and seek out those people that um, need some assistance and um, I've always shown a particular interest in the medical field. And this academy really spoke to me because I've always longed to just to, I love working with these people that need help and helping them to get better and to mm -hmm. feel okay with their situations and just to help them to move forward. 
Mr. Chevalier, tell us a little bit about the, the facilities that house our academies. And, and if I were a student who wanted to participate, how would I go about doing that? We are extremely proud of the facilities for all four of our academies. We um, uh, probably get a little boastful sometimes in saying that they definitely are state of the art. Mm -hmm. uh, our uh, Media Arts Academy that's at Northwest High School has a working television studio. You walk in, you wouldn't know that you weren't in a television studio that uh, you might see on, on regular network television. Uh, we have an anchor desk and video cameras and prompters and the whole business. Our uh, STEM Academy, we've done quite a bit of work to create what we kind of call a destination academy. It's an it's a academy that sits by itself within the confines of Northwest High School. Uh, we've got a number of classrooms that we've expanded so that it's double-sized classrooms so students can work on large projects. Just recently we purchased a 3D printer mm -hmm. that many um, uh, industry folks and other schools have not had access to at this point and our students are getting to, to experiment with some different types of technology there. Uh, at our medical, art, uh, medical professions Academy at Byron Nelson High School. Uh, you might walk in there and it looks somewhat like a, a clinic that you might go to or a, an emergency room type facility so our students can practice uh, the medical profession and can experiment with some of the things that are going on there. And then our Culinary Arts Academy that's, that we just opened this year has a state-of-the-art working professional kitchen in addition to a, a bistro that will at some point open for um, community members to go for sandwiches and snacks and those kinds of things during the week. Students that are interested have an opportunity to apply to any of those academies. Uh, they can do so by contacting the high school directly or they can contact uh, the administration building and ask for our career and technology office and uh, we have folks that can explain the application process and what they would need to submit so that they can be considered for inclusion in the academy. Great. Well I imagine then Tyler and Alexis you both did that same application process. Uh, Alexis, as being a part of the Academy for Medical Professions, you probably are looking forward to a few opportunities. Uh, are, you are a junior this year? Yes, ma'am. So tell me what types of experiences you expect to have this year and what you look forward to next year as a senior. Well, in addition to the nursing homes, next semester we will be doing clinical rotations in a hospital where we will get to choose sort of which types of medical professions we would like to pursue. For example, I'm interested in neonatal nursing with a premature born baby, so I would have the opportunity to job shadow a neonatal nurse. Kids can follow cardiovascular um, technicians and doctors and surgeons and all these types of things, and we have the opportunity to just explore those different venues. Next year, we will be going through EMT certification and training, as well as students also have the opportunity to pursue pharmacology um, mm -hmm. training. Oh, that's outstanding. That's great. Now, Tyler, I know that as part of the science, technology, engineering, and math program uh, that you have opportunities to explore and do a bit of research as well. You mentioned the, the, uh, a project that you'd done last year. Tell us who comes in from industry to work with you guys. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, Tim McClure came from um, Northwest ISC, the architectural mm -hmm. community. And he basically came and he watched everybody as he presented their schools of the future, and he gave them feedback on what he liked the best about them. And just yesterday, we went to the Cowboys Stadium to look at the architecture of the stadium and how they built it and everything that was built into it to help us further um, grasp the engineering or architecture arts. That's, that, those are great opportunities. Thank you for sharing that with us. Northwest ISD is known by our innovation high standards and dedication to transforming education. We strive to maintain high standards of excellence. I want to remind you about Go Get It Week, December 6th through 10th. Representatives from colleges and universities will speak with students about higher education and representatives from business communities will talk with students about the importance of the Texas Scholars Program. Thanks so much for being our guest today. We really appreciate you ha being here and visiting with us about these important student opportunities. Tune in next month as we talk about extracurricular opportunities with our Fine Arts Director and Executive Director of Athletics. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time.